your inner ear and your eyes are one team, right? So they both take different types of sensors, but both of them tell you where you are in space and help you then to be able to generate balance so that you can get up off the ground, move around, ride in a car, go for a walk, turn your head. All those things are contingent on both of those sensors being able to communicate well. When we have people that have brain injury or even just neurological dysfunction from lots of different reasons, right? When the vestibular system and the visual system don't match in their inputs, your brain's got to figure out why. And as soon as that happens, we get this signal that something's wrong. Most of the time that feels something like dizziness, motion sickness, instability, losing balance, like things in that, like I don't feel comfortable in my body types of situations. One of the easiest ways to look at this is actually something that people do at home all the time is just looking at the way the eyes track. And you see this like in TV, right? Well, they'll say, look at my finger and they follow the finger. But what you should notice is that as you're following that finger moving around and in these diagonal movements and up and down, it's kind of like an asterisk, is you should see that the eyes should clearly just smoothly follow wherever that finger goes. If you video record that and you're somebody that's having a hard time with visual motion or vestibular motion, you might find actually that the eyes are not tracking smoothly. And that can be with the head still if we're having trouble with integration from the visual system. And it can be with the head moving when it's primary, uh, primarily a vestibular component. Or if it's where they integrate, we can see that both of them can create errors. And it seems like it's a very subtle thing to look at, but it makes a huge difference in understanding, like, how are we going to fix this thing? How can we change the visual signals or change the vestibular signals so that the body can start interpreting them well again so I'm not feeling dizzy all the time?